What's going on everybody? This is Colin COE, the chief of everything over here at New Scooters Plus, and this is video blog number four. Ding, 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 ding. Um, lots of cool, cool shit happening here at New Scooters for Less. We have, this morning, we had coffee with Colin. It made me feel really, really good. Basically, every two weeks we get together, and well, my team, whoever wants to come, comes. My brother brings Guleho coffee, shameless plug. Guleho.com, everybody check it out. If you like the very best coffee, go buy some. It's very, 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 very easy. But we got together this morning, and specifically for Andrea, because Andrea likes structure. I'm very that free-flowing guy that doesn't like structure. Austin, do you like structure? I like a little bit of it. I like a little bit of structure. Matt, do you like structure? Yeah. Everybody, this is Matt. Matt, say hi. Hey, internet. <laughs> you like structure? Yeah. Yeah. Structure mm -hmm. Shannon? A little bit of structure. Structure vote? There's a time and a place. Time and a place for structure. Well, Andrea loves structure, <laughs> so I did this just for her, and I actually kind of created a little topic this morning for Colin, Coffee with Colin, and uh, we talked about core values versus policy. This is something that we've already mentioned in a previous blog, you know, having, having a set of core values to really help people, help your team make decisions, and recently, actually a couple episodes, we also talked about um, first impressions, and, and in there we talked about Gainesville word of mouth. Well, somebody got some very bad... Uh, word of mouth. It was a company called Stevie B's. Sorry to talk about the Stevie B's. Well, you are doing the right thing about trying to clear it up, and I'll get into that too. But basically, somebody commented that they went to a kid's birthday party. They have the private room in the back, and somebody at Stevie B's made them pay for you know a buffet to come in and enter Stevie B's. The problem with that was the lady who was coming into Stevie B's, had celiacs, and couldn't eat any of the food. So she thought it was very unfair for her to have to pay to come in when she couldn't eat. And it upset a lot of members of the Gainesville community, got a really, really long thread, actually took snaps, you know, little snaps of, um, what do you call that, screenshots of the thread and tweeted it to Stevie B's and said, you guys really need to look into this. And they did, but basically, what it led to was a conversation, a really good conversation with my team this morning talking about policy versus core values that Shannon's over here. Sorry. See, I'm, I'm doing my job. I thought I was doing a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Colin over here. You are, and then I'm like, squirrel, because I hear typing, that's all good. So it led to a really, really good conversation, and essentially, you know, we were just bringing up topics, you know, that topic about, hey, like this is why it's important to have a set of core values and why those core values should be what really leads to the decision making process in your dealership, in your business versus policy. Because sometimes people are saying, well, I'm just following the rules. I'm just following the rules. But when the rules don't make sense and it goes against that common sense, you know, maybe it's not the right time to follow rules. So we, we just use that as an example and it led to a really, really great discussion. Um, I also got into leadership and it was, it was really neat because I actually teared up this morning. Were you there when I teared up, Shannon? You left early, right? Shannon left to go do an event on campus. But I, uh, I know I got really, really passionate about a topic because we were talking about the business and the fact that we're going to create something that exists that's, you know, we're not going to even, at least me, I'm not even going to be able to see what it ends up being because I look really, really long term when it comes to the, the decisions that I make. And I truly believe that this company is going to outlive me and that I'm not going to be here for the best years of this company. So I, as I was talking about that with the team, really getting into it, really getting emotional, and it just made me feel really, really good just even thinking about that and having that, that connection with my team. My team is incredible. You guys inspire me. Did you know that? Aww. 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 But... I got really, really inspired, so it felt it felt really, really good. And of course, we got into other things like social media and a bunch of things that we're gonna talk about on this video blog one day. One of the really cool things that's happening right now that I wanted to tell you guys about, and I really encourage you guys to get into it and do it, is shadowing. This is something that we've never done before. Blows my mind, 11, mo uh, 11 months, 11 years of owning this company. We've never done any sort of shadowing before. And what we're doing right now is that we have our sales team and shadowing members of our service team and our service team shadowing members of our sales team for the next month, month and a half. Here's like a little schedule, check this out. We got it all planned out. 
Shannon, you you uh you shadowed somebody, right? Oh, I was gonna hand you this. Oh. <laughs> We're using hashtag shadowing month. Hashtag shadowing month. Check it out. You're allowed to talk in the video. I blog. didn't want to interrupt you. You would have yelled at me. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> but tell them a little bit. I mean, cause you shadowed, right? I did. I did that. So you shadowed. I did that. It was super go? fun. What'd you learn? Um, I learned a lot. Turns out I don't know, well, didn't know how scooters work. And now I totally do. Didn't you just ride your first scooter? I did! I rode my first scooter ever. And I'll tell you what, I did a great job. Shannon hasn't been working here too long. How long have you been? A couple months now? Um, yeah, start? I started January 2nd. January 2nd. So now it's March 13th. There you go. So but why do we do this? So this is, yes. Thank you, Austin. Thanks for keeping us right on track, Austin. <laughs> We're so glad you're here. Welcome. So, really, it, it's helping us learn what everybody else is doing. You know, there's that perception, you know, our, let's just take the service team, for example. I have to think the service team working out in this warehouse, getting really, really hot. We're in Florida, guys. They, you get really, really hot. You're out there wrenching on bikes. Casey, you know what? You interact with all the time, Casey. You are like a star it's in like this. like Kramer. Say hi, Casey. Hi. <laughs> What's up? You want to come join us, Casey? Come, come on in. She's know. blushing. Are you working yeah. right now? I am working right now. Are you helping a customer? Um, I was yeah, scheduled, I'm scheduling a pickup. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's All right. probably more important than so. Bye. Bye, Casey. I love that girl. So, you know, it's you got to think. This, the service team out there in the heat, Every once in a while, they're, they're like, oh, it must be nice to be working up in the showroom with the air conditioner playing on Facebook all day. When the truth is, when that showroom person comes in the back and hands the key saying, hey, can you please bring me, bring this scooter around for a customer, that that showroom assistant, that salesperson has got two people on hold, has a person in the showroom that's being unassisted that needs assistance. And so they don't really see that. They just kind of see, oh, must be nice to be in the AC all day. So why are we doing this? We're doing this for that exact reason. So they can see how difficult this job is and so that our salespeople can see how difficult of a job that is. I thought it was really interesting. Haley, who was one of the first people to shadow, came to me and said, one thing I never thought about was bringing, bringing the scooters around. You know, the, the salespeople come in the back, hand the keys and say, hey, hey Ricky, could you please bring this customer scooter around? She's here to pick it up. So he gets the key, he has to stop what he's doing, hands all greasy right in the middle of a repair, stop what he's doing, wash his hands, bring the scooter around, give it to the customer, answer any questions that the customer might, customer might have. And um, then he's gotta go, you know, once he's finished with the customer, go right back and get right in the middle of it. Haley was like, I cannot believe how distracting that is. The fact that you have to stop what you're doing to go and bring that scooter around. And she said, it made me appreciate that moment so much more. So every time her as a salesperson comes in the back and says, hey, Ricky, can you bring this scooter around? She's going to know how distracting that is and how, you know, that's really in a way a burden. But he also understands the importance of him having to bring it around because he's the technician that worked on the scooter and why that's important to be there to answer that customer's questions and deliver that ultimate customer experience, which is what we do the UCE. So this is so incredible. The feedback that I've been getting from the team, how cohesive everything is, the positivity, the fact that everybody just feels so good about learning everybody else's position. Um, you know, I encourage you guys to do it. I really encourage you guys to spend the time, develop a team, develop a team that wants to do stuff like that. You know, I think, I think that's, that's important. You know, if you have a team, if you, if you're asking yourself right now, if I ask my sales team, to shadow and go get greasy and work in the service department. Is that something they'd be willing to do? And if the answer is no, that might tell you something. So I'm proud to say that everybody on this team has embraced that wholeheartedly. You know, Shannon, being our social media person, went back there and shadowed Sean and worked all day getting greasy, learning about how a scooter works. That was important for her to do. She wanted to do that to understand all of these things that happen right here in this dealership. So please do it. These are some of the things that are happening right now here at this dealership. These are the things that we do that make us so successful. And I really encourage you guys to do them as well because they'll make you guys successful. And um, please hit me up. Austin, you're going to throw up the contact stuff yep. as usual. 
contact stuff. Let's link Haley's blog because Haley wrote a great blog about her shadowing experience. We're going to have a couple of the other team members do the same. So we'll get their blogs linked up as soon as they are written. And um, I hope everybody learns something and hit me. Share your stuff with me. If you do, first person to share their stuff with me, I'm sending you a boom shirt. Boom! Just like that. Brand new t-shirts in the house. And thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.